Coach PJ here. I'm covering the top 11 things I wish I knew when I was 20. I'm on number eight and working myself back up to number one. Uh, number 11 was learn. Number 10 was all about taking risks. Number nine was about network. And number eight is about getting a mentor. So if you could turn back the clock and tell yourself something, I would tell myself to get a mentor. And what I mean by that is find folks that can surround yourself that will give you good advice, that will help you navigate as you move throughout your career. Treat them like a personal board of directors. Share good news with them. Keep them updated on what's going on in your world. It's often nice to have folks like that, that you can pick up the phone, you can call, you can get some advice, you can get some perspective. They're and if they've traveled with you over time, if you have them for a period of time, and since if you had them when you were 20 or when you were, you know, for decades, they understand the context and they're a part of it. So keep them current on where you are in your life. Share your successes with them. Share job changes with them. Uh, I go back and, and think about one of the ment ment people I mentor. Uh, he's a young man I've known since he was 14, 15 years old. He was a neighbor, a neighbor boy. And as he went uh, on to college, he went to my alma mater. So that was pretty cool. So we had a connection. Um, as he went to get out of college and as he went through college, he reached out to me and said, hey, I'm, I'm applying for some jobs. Would you um, be able to help me? And it was nice to have known him for a little while. So then he went through the job hunt and he went through different uh, areas in that space. And then he went on to graduate school and he needed some graduate school references. So he and I had a relationship and have had a relationship for over a decade, and that's a great place to be able to talk about someone, to give a professional reference, to have talked about the evolution and, and their, the fact that he's kept in touch with me, the fact that he keeps me involved with what's going on is important because then I can provide him both guidance as well as professional references or connections that might be helpful to him. Um, don't lose those connections. Uh, get a mentor, get multiple mentors, build your personal board of directors at this point. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more or follow along with the rest of the 11 things I wish I knew when I was 20, um, like, subscribe, click the bell so you'll be notified of the rest of the seven things I wish I knew when I was 20.